Hey guys, really quick, this is about the Mercury Smart Wi-Fi camera. Um, so when you go for this barcode right here, this is the app that it pulls up. That is the, the wrong app, okay? Um, so right there below, you see that Mercury cam? That's that. That's the one that you want right there. Um, I found this out by JJ1807 on YouTube. Um, his video will be, be linked below. Uh, so what you'll see right here is that I'm already connected. I'm logged in already. And as you see, the camera does work. So you guys, you know, just to show you a really quick live feed, uh, this is me. And as you can see, the camera does work. Okay, cool. So the issue is your connection is not set up for 2.4 gigahertz. Okay. Typically when people set up your network, you're connected to five gigahertz because it's just, it, it works better, I guess, or it's faster, or it's just, you know, your common uh, network connection. I'm not a, a guru when it comes to technology. But um, what the issue is, when you get here, uh, this app will allow you to hear the ding from the camera and it'll tell you it's processing, which will be probably the furthest you got uh, since you've got this camera from Walmart because I've seen a lot of issues. But like I said, the issue is you have to um, then go into um, like, OK, so when we have Cox, uh, the Cox Wi-Fi. So when you go into the Cox Wi-Fi app, let me see if I can't bring it up here. Okay, so for me, it says, um, once you get into the app, view network details. Let me make sure my information isn't going to show here. Okay, boom. So what I did was I went in and I selected the, because um, they were both set um, set as setup. And what I did was change one from setup to, um, to excuse me, from setup 2.4 uh, to setup 5, just so I could uh, differentiate when I went into my settings. Because when you connect on your phone, uh, to the Wi-Fi, you have to be connected to the 2.4 for it to allow you to set it up. Okay, so boom. Once you've done that, uh, however you have to do that, I have a hotspot as well with Cricket, and I know that it comes with the dual bandwidth option as far as the the 2.4 gigahertz. So um, just go on. The, if you look it up, how to access your uh, Wi-Fi settings to uh, how to access 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, type that in on Google with whatever uh, server pro service provider you have, and it should work. So once you get there, it'll tell you to add device. You'll then uh, add the device, and you'll hit the plus right there. I wonder if it'll let me do it. All right, so I've already done that. And uh, you'll get to that screen. And um, if you also had the issue where um, it, it won't blink for you, you have to just hold it uh, like 20 to 45 seconds, I'm seeing. But yeah, JJ uh, told me that as well. Um, so once you get to that page, uh, you'll see that page as well. And um, like I said, make sure you're connected to the 2.4 gigahertz. Put your password in. Um, hold it away. You know, it'll make the sound. Boop, and uh, you will actually hear the sound. I heard the sound. Um, it's probably not going to do it for me now. But um, click out of that, back into that. And what it'll do is it'll connect and then it'll come up like that. And just like I said, again, to show you that it's real. Um, so yeah, don't mind me, but that's how, you know, you see me, you see me holding the phone so you know it's real. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so that should fix a problem for you guys. Uh, again, just connect to the 2.4 gigahertz and this and download the correct app and it'll work for you. All right.